welcome back to Sally Tells It All. I am taking a drive. I just did the song Whiskey Lullaby. And um, tonight, I guess they're doing fireworks. It's, it's July 2nd today. And they're doing fireworks at Long's Park here in Lancaster. Um, I'm on my way to go get my car looked at. Um, they're going to hook it up to the, the machine that says why the check engine light is on. I just kind of feel like I need to do this before I take it to the garage on Wednesday. So they fixed my car, I guess, two months ago. And it's been running like poo ever since. It idles rough. So the other day my check engine light came on and it overheated on me. Well, I had $1,900 worth of work done. I had a, I had the water pump replaced, the thermostat replaced, the timing belt replaced, the air conditioner was fixed, new spark plugs, um, new valve cover gasket, I'm trying to think of what else they had to, I mean, they, they were replaced quite a bit. And for $1,900, it should idle smooth and it should not overheat and it should not run like poo. That was my thoughts anyhow. <laughs> but, um, you know, my opinion, everybody has opinions, right? Yeah. So, I'm going to talk with you a little bit on my drive. It's um, always good to obey the speed limit. Yes, of course. Um, a lot of people are like, well, you can go five miles an hour over the speed limit. Well, you know, they have a speed limit for a reason. And um, I just, if you, if you choose to do the right thing every time, then you're not put in situations where, you know, you're compromised. So it's like, I, I'm not saying that I never make a mistake because I do and make plenty. Um, sometimes you get in a hurry and, and you're out there, but as a mail carrier and I drive, you know, that's what I do for a living. I have to drive this mail truck and drive to my park points, get out, deliver mail. But if I don't have my license, if I lose my license because I'm out here being stupid and um, not obeying the the laws that are set forth before us, you know, speed limits and stop signs and red lights and it's, um, and you see people out there just speeding so fast, trying to get somewhere in a hurry and then you get up to the light and that's where they're stuck. So I, to me, I don't know, it's better to be safe than sorry. So I'm going to travel the speed limit and try to do my best to be a good law-abiding citizen um, that's uh, kind of important in this day and age. I don't want to uh, get tickets, not be able to pay them, and then um, end up losing my driver's license and not being able to keep my job. That would not be cool at all. So. Yes, it's better to be safe than sorry. I know I already said that, but it's never too much to reiterate that point. So, I guess there'll be fireworks the next couple of nights. I saw some last night when I was going to pick my daughter up, and that was pretty nice. I like fireworks. Um, we went to my 93-year-old lady Anna, we went to her house tonight and helped clean up her yard. My daughter and little Axel and me, we, we went and cleaned up sticks and leaves and weeds out of her yard. And that was nice. That was nice. It was a little hot, but it was nice. I, I enjoy helping her out. And um, 
I forgot again. <laughs>